that. Yes. Well, um, perhaps later, uh, Richard, perhaps later we can yeah. revisit this and discuss about if, you know, the notion of if there is no, no good or bad or right or wrong in the manifest manifestation of the reality in this world, how would then the actions that are considered to be wrong under the modern society, under the modern norm, such as murder, you know, killing and war things, basically then uh, be let, you know, to to exist uh, if if those are all manifestation of of the one. But perhaps we can come back to that later. Richard, I'm I'm going to uh, give the space to you now to follow up. Yes, uh, actually your question is very good, but I'm eager to hear what is uh, going to answer about the evil and good and evil. But what is interesting, what Gunnar say, when we talk about bear the witness, the name of Allah, this must be until our cellular level. This is what you say before, very interesting. So, and then you explain the uh, how women exist, start from the conception. And you have the mutis, uh, the single star, right? And you also mentioned that existence is only one, uh, singular existence. Meaning, everyone that we see, we feel, actually is the another configuration or multiple billion configuration of the single existence it is if I may follow your way of thinking. So if it is like that, you can explain very well about the conception from the sperm, exile, and then the our parents, the DNA, and so on. And then become brain, right? And from the brain, you have the information, the data package. So my question, how the spirit form? Is in the same way also through this wave? and come to the brain or from outside. Maybe you can explain this about the spirit because yeah, we are flesh, right? We can, we know the process. But how about the ruah, the ruah, the spirit? Thank you, Gunnar. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Richard. That's a, that's a curveball. what we, <laughs> as far as the question goes. Uh, thank, thank you for that. Um, First, let me let me try and address um, uh, Marie's yeah. question. Yeah. Uh, we we have uh, our our existence <clears throat> is dependent on our survival. So, uh, if we see a man running at us with a knife. Uh, the idea is not to say this is the will of Allah, so let me sit here. Mm -hmm. You 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 have to manifest your powers of protecting yourself and, and doing what is necessary at that at that moment. When we know uh, somebody is a, a murderer or somebody uh, can be harmful to society, uh, it is it is incumbent on us to remove them from society for everybody to be able to flourish in the best way possible. The actions that we put forth are very different from our judgments. Mm. So, so there are two things. Uh, uh, there, there's an action mm -hmm. that is required. But where we fall is when we say, why is he like this? Mm. Why is he a murderer? Why is he not a kind person? Uh, you know, we, we spoke about metaphors, and, and, and I'll come upon a subject that's, that's always very tricky to understand. There's, a, there's, a, there's always the topic of, of fate, as explained in, in religion. So, so fate, uh, you know, the way it's described in religion is that, you know, the, the words are written and the ink on the pen has dried. Everything has been written. Well, the same, the same way that like, this is described, we have our data mm -hmm. that creates what we are able to do. Our, our internal data 
actually decides whether we are able to accept a new piece of information and we are able to bring that into into our into our lives and change thanks to it or not and in the same way the data of the earth the data of the moon the data of the sun of jupiter of every of everything in the universe actually defines its path and how those paths interact with each other so yes you know mm-hmm. everything is predefined we are witnessing things as they occur and if everything is predefined what we are what we refer to as something bad a man rushing at you with with a knife that is a part of that manifestation and it is going to lead to to something different and which will also lead to something different and and that is what we what we will watch unfold but the the the, the pain that we that creates our suffering is is not understanding that everybody lives out their creational purpose every every piece of existence in the universe is living out its creational purpose the world will have earthquakes because it is programmed into the world there will be volcanoes there will be tsunamis there will be storms there will be forest fires mm-hmm. and and when we say this is good or this is bad that's fine but we are missing the functioning of the universe um the the human brain is is it can be viewed almost like um uh, like a receiver like a like a television so so there there's i guess different ways of of trying to understand existence and actually the more waves ways we we are able to approach the topic uh the stronger our understanding and our faith mm. actually becomes right so uh we can look at existence through the brain we can look at existence through what we call uh the material existence through newtonian newtonian uh, science we can look at existence through what we refer to as a quantum reality right and then we can also look at existence as described in religion now if there's a conflict somewhere uh it means that either there's a misunderstanding or 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 something in that information is is not correct now we our brain captivates the data that, that is coming from all existence as matter mm-hmm. so the 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 way that we are like a tv transistor is that information comes at us mm-hmm. so there is information coming from here to you that is that is why you receive the same information but the information that is that is coming from here may not be in the exact same format as we are witnessing it so what happens if we if we consider for example the the act of sight there is light that shines on an object it comes to our eyes what happens from there there's signals electronic signals that go through our brain to our cerebellum and that is where vision occurs now is there any light in the cerebellum it's a dark piece of flesh the act of the vision occurring is actually the brain creating an illusion of what it sees there's a disconnect between the light coming from the object and the brain creating its illusion what happens with touch with smell with hearing it is all the same now quantum physics basically tells us that the base of all matter is actually wave so if we take the observer away from what we call matter the 
the the reality of what is known to be material is wave based. So there is data, but my brain is converting that data into what we call matter. If that is the case, how does this refer to the soul? Because the way we understand the soul is we say the brain waves that we have create a data wave that is the soul, and that this soul exists beyond the matter. The matter. But is there a difference between the brain waves, which are actually also wave based, and what we refer to as the soul that it creates? Or is it all one and the same? So, so the way the way we perceive things is that we are a body, matter, matter and that this matter creates a separate existence that is the soul. But what actually science is telling us, what the Quran is telling us, what, what all knowledge is telling us is that there is only one existence. And that existence is non-material. So, so what we refer to as the soul is actually the singular soul. And not the separate soul. In Islam, this is referred to as who. The singular consciousness mm -hmm. that reverberates through existence. And who is infinite? Well, there's a there, there's there's a, a verse in the Quran. Uh, it's one of the last verses uh, in the Quran, and it is called the uh, uh, well, it's, it's the Surah Ikhlas, and it says, "Who is Ahad? It is singular." Who is Samed? It is pure. There's nothing external that comes into it. There's nothing external that goes out of it. This surah, I think, is the key to understanding existence, what we are, who we are, and what is referred to by the name Allah. 